pilot, we have a lot of excited passengers ready to board today. Let me know when you are ready for them. All right. We got a lot of exciting passengers ready to board today, she says. Pilot from dispatch. <clears throat> Boarding passenger. Please stand by. Boarding passengers. I'm not even into the sim yet. And they're already boarding. Uh, so while this is loading, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll pull this over and show you what we got going on. Uh, ready to fly. Uh-oh. Now I ditched my window. Yeah, we are picking up three passengers and we're bringing them down to Salem, where I used to live. <coughs> Kelly and I used to live there. And uh, seven and nine showed up on the train. Transporter thing. from dispatch. All passengers on board. You can All ask for the clearance to take off. All right, well, let me go into here and uh, let's get those passengers on board. Because uh, this is not showing passengers on board. What does it say? 402 pounds. He's got to be 200 pounders. Two hundred pounds. I'm missing two pounds. All right. I'm giving myself a little room here, uh, saying I'm two hundred pounds. That's all right. So weights and balance is looking good. Looks like the sun's just coming up. So uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. got to get my other tablet here. I am not prepared as usual. Let's see. We are at Kuno, West Plains. Uh, Kuno. And that is 1227. Oh, look at that. Boy, I wish it... We just delete the other ones. 1227, 122.8. And let me see. Let's pull up. this tablet. Let's see if it'll... Maybe it doesn't turn on. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, maybe it doesn't turn on until you uh, turn on the battery. But Alright. Uh, we are headed down south here. Well, let's see. I can do this. I put that there and then I come down here. There's our flight path. And this is not telling me anything about any radios. <clears throat> Let me see if... Uh, Because I'm looking way too far. Uh, yeah, this is not saying what the comm frequency is. I'm just going to have to get off the simulator. Okay, so let's, let me get everything going here and let's get this bird started. So, let me see. Do I have. I don't know if this plane. I don't think it has a uh, checklist. Oh, and I don't have a button to hide this. I'm going to put it away. I don't think this has checklists in here. It doesn't. And I used to have... Let me see. That's the Mooney. Checklist, where's the uh, hmm. 
Hmm, somewhere on here. I have a checklist for this aircraft. Um, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So I pulled up the checklist on my mighty tablet so I can see this. I do have a checklist. I might try to put it on the screen here. Before starting engine, pre-flight inspections are complete. Seatbelts are set. Fuel selector valve is set to both. It is. Uh, avionics, autopilot, all that stuff is off. It is. Brakes test and set. The brakes are set. Cow flaps open. Cow flaps are open. Uh, landing lever is down. It is. And all the circuit breakers are in. And they are in. Looking good. Okay, starting engine. Mi mixture too rich. Oh, guess what I did not start. I did not start my uh, controller. Let's get that running. And while I'm doing this, look here, I can do this camera. Watch this. Boom. And once SPAD finishes loading. What? Sign that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mixture to rich. Got it. Uh, prop high RPM. Car heat. Cold. Car beats right here. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's off. In is cold. Um, Throttle pump once or as much as six times. Pump the throttle once. Didn't say to turn the. And leave it open a quarter inch. Master switch to on. God. That switch is. Uh, prop area clear. Okay, now this is saying to turn on the beacons and all that stuff later, but we know that uh, this thing will yell at us if we don't have them on before we start the engines. All right, let's uh, make sure this guy's clear. Clear prop. Let's turn on the magnetos and start, start the engine. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Okay. Oil pressure. Zoom in on this over here. Oil pressure looks good. Lights are on. Avionics on. And I turned on the alternator. Yeah, this is not a complete not a complete deal. Uh, all right, so we got, let's go back in here. We got our, uh, tis, eight is one, two, three, eight, two, five. Let me tune that in. One, two, three, eight, two, five. Let that boot and let's uh, listen in on the radio. Kilo Uniform November Oscar, automated weather observation 1100 Zulu. Wind 130 at 10. Visibility 10. Sky condition ceiling 1700 feet broken. Temperature 11 Celsius. Dew point 10 Celsius. Altimeter 29 so let's set that two nine or eight nine or boosh. And 
And let's see if our, uh, let's see, we are flying a little bit to the uh, east, so we're going to go with an odd number. So I will go ahead and preset this to 3,500. All right, there we go. Let's see, there we go. And let's see, we're going to go direct to uh, 7M9. 7 Mike Niner Salem. Activate that. That is looking good. And let's uh, pull up the ATC window. And one, two, two, eight. Yeah. One, two, two. Oh man, look, we were almost there. One, two, two point eight. that let's cho choose a runway for takeoff our winds were 130 so we'll go with runway 18 and let's announce our uh, taxi kilo uniform november oscar traffic november 2817 echo is taxiing to runway 18 oh let me see i gotta go into here and where is it no, not travel to. Not camera. Not pause. Do you have to do it every time? All right. Uh, speaking of pause, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Let's get gone. Turn on those taxi lights. And let's see. We're going to take off runway 18. So, yeah. Let's uh, kill the park break. Looks like we're just going to taxi right over here. this way. I probably should have checked this. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's see. it have it didn't have a taxi didn't have a taxi checklist so we're all right man I am hungry this morning I got me some tea but I didn't pour me a glass yet a glass this is an iced tea the beauty of steering with your feet. You can use both hands to pour a mug of tea. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. All right, let's slow her down a little bit here. We're going to come right out here. Ooh, brakes are working. Turn around. Face the wind. Ish. Set the parking brake. 
Parking brake is set, and let's do our uh, before takeoff. Cabin door is closed and locked. Yes, parking brake set. Flight controls free. Collect, correct. Flight instruments are set. Fuel selector valve is still up. Both mixtures rich. Fuel pump, turn it on. Check for rise in fuel pressure, and then off. I don't know if I mapped a button for the the switch for the fuel pump. Uh, where is the fuel pump switch? In it? It's flipping the nav lights on and off. I don't even know where, is there a fuel pump in this thing? There should be. Okay. Let's do our uh, run up. I gotta get that other. I gotta get the other checklist. This checklist I have is junk. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna do the RPM up to 1700. We are going to check left magneto only. Drops about 100 RPM. Go back to both. Good. Right magneto only. Drops about 100 within 50 of each other. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, prop back and see if we get an RPM drop on that. And reset it. All right, we are looking good, looking good. So let's go ahead and announce that uh, we're going to do it. We're going to take off to the uh, south here. Announce takeoff. Kilo to the south. November Oscar. Traffic November two eight one seven. We'll go ahead. Taking off runway one eight south departure. We'll go ahead and turn this on. Altitude, uh, park and brake off. Let's get up in the seat a little bit. Back down in the seat so we can make sure nobody's coming see anything. Got a little bit of crosswind going on here. Look at that windsock. All right. Let's uh, turn on the landing lights. Boy, it is taking a lot of right rudder. Rotate. Have a great flight. It's a beautiful time to fly. We got a positive rate, and let's go ahead and uh, pull up that gear.
little steeper than I would like, but it should level off here. All right, let's go ahead. Get the aircraft set up here. I'm gonna turn, pull the, our, the manifold pressure down to 22 and the RPMs down to 2300. And since we are up high, let's pull this mixture. Looking for peak on the EGT. There it is, there it is. All right, a little poofy cloud right over here. We're going around that, that's not a big deal. Zoom. 94 MO, Missouri. Alright. Seems like a pretty good flight for our uh, passengers here. get us in trouble for the VFR. Not really sure what this is here. Okay, so this is coming into West Plains. All righty. This is West Plains, Missouri. This road, let's see. Let me see if I can scoot myself a little bit closer to the window. What's that? Trying to find, I, you know, I, I've been to West Plains lots of times. I'm just trying to see the road layout. I'm almost wondering if this over here. Huh. Well, there's the school. So that would be that road. Yeah, I'm a little bit lost. I'm a little bit lost. What I was looking for was the uh, the Walmart and the Holiday Inn. For all I know, it's right below me. All right, so we are about 22 miles, 13 minutes to go. Little poofy clouds here. It's not bad though. It's not bad. Alright, let's see what they got for 
say hello. Uh, nearest airport. 7M9, there it is, 8. 122.9. I forget sometimes I have to one two two point nine. We'll switch that over. We're gonna do a full stop. Select the runway because as I was saying in my last one, you always come in from the west end. That doesn't even look great. That does, oops, that does not look right. Nine, back, four, seven, M9 is seven. Yeah, I was gonna say, those runways were wrong. Uh, so we're gonna be one of heading towards the east. Uh, so we want runway two zero. I gotta, I gotta look. I gotta look this up. Hold on. Turn this thing off. Yeah. Well, it's not really to the east. <laughs> it's the runway coming from town. So yeah, I want to land on two zero. You take off on zero two. So we will land on two zero. And let's go ahead and announce our position. Seven Mike Niner, traffic November two eight one seven Echo, one eight miles north, three thousand five hundred feet inbound to land runway two zero. And let's see. Elevation is seven hundred and eighty seven feet. But we do have that little hill we got to be careful of. I'm not sure what the ele elevation is of the little, the knob they call it in Salem. Hopefully I get through this little thin cloud and I can see a little better. Runway two zero. Let me go ahead and set this. To about runway heading. So we're gonna come into it almost right dead on. Let's go ahead. Let's go down 2,500 feet. Pull some power. See if you can't get below these little thin clouds. All right, there we go. That's probably the knob right there.
see. I'm, I'm going to spin my head head bug around. around. And we're, we're going to switch to head and hold. Oh, man. Because to line up with the runway, we want to be on the other side of the knob. And it's conveniently right behind the compass. Left the landing lights on for the entire flight. Might as well. We didn't get any altitude. Just a little hazy at this point, huh? So let's see, the elevation was what, six, eight, seven, eighty-seven. So basically, eight hundred feet. We could go ahead and go down. We could go ahead and go down to eighteen hundred. The knob, the knob is the only thing, thing around here that we would have to worry about at all. This is in the Ozarks, Salem. Um, it's funny, some people describe the Ozarks as more of a deeper valleys than, the, than in being hills, because all the hilltops are about the same. If you look out here, you can kind of see that. And then you just have valleys between them, kind of. Go ahead and announce that position again. Seven Mike Niner, traffic November 2817, Echo Niner miles north. 2,100 feet inbound to land runway 20. We are below, let's see. Oh, okay. We are below 2,000 feet. Let me go ahead and kick this other camera back on. I'm gonna go full ridge and full forward on the props. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the gear down. Let's go outside. Let's go outside and check this out. go one notch of flaps a little bumpy over the trees here Keep it right in that white arc, right around. I think the white arc is 95, if I remember correctly, on the airspeed. Because if I'm staying inside the white arc, then I know I can 
put my flaps down as needed. Somewhere right here, we should be the road that goes to West Plains. Should be right in here. Oh, there it is. I'm on the other side of it. All right. So the VFW hall that I used to be associated with should be right down here somewhere. I think it's right there behind the cowl. <laughs> I'd have to sit on my passenger's lap to get over there and see it. And the runway is probably right up in here. That's it right there. There's more trees on the knob than, than there are in real life. All right, I'm gonna pull a little more power. We got a little fast here. I want to get that uh, second notch of flaps in really quick here. all the way down, let the autopilot handle some of that stuff, and then I'm going to go ahead and kill the autopilot. And we're going to turn in for final. Uh, now it's final. 7 Mike Niner traffic November 2817 Echo is on final runway 20 to land. We are a little high, a little bumpy here. Make sure we're not flying into the knob. No, I think the uh, grocery store that we worked at just went under the nose. I think that's it there, that white building. is supposed to be depicting. The one stoplight in Salem would be that uh, right there on the left side. And that's the road going off this way. It was the road you go to get to our house. We're still pretty high. I'm trying to work my way down without adding too much speed. Looks like the wind side. We got we got a crosswind again. Got to get down. See that hill on the other side is steeper than that. Drop in over these trees. Pull some power. Pull some all the power. Nice landing, pilot. 
Well, kind of. Uh, gotta get on the runway. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. All right. Woo, dog. Yeah, in real life, there is a hill right there. What happened? Why am I not rolling? Pull those flaps up. I'm guessing they're wanting us to park right here. That was an insane landing. That was insane. Park and break. All right, let's turn off those taxi lights. And let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I'm gonna turn off. No, let's shut down Okay, the pilot, the guests are leaving the aircraft now. They should probably wait for the prop to stop spinning. Alright. Go ahead, get out. Get out! Pull the prop lever back. Turn off the alternator and all these lights that we had on. Shut down the magnetos. I'll wait on the avionics and the uh, battery until she gives us a call. Okay, pilot. That's all the passengers off the plane. Thank you. Over and out. All right. So there we have it. Let's kill the avionics and let's kill that battery. You can start your engine now. No, I can't because I just shut it down. All right. So uh, if I can, I'll throw some replays on here of that landing. And uh, this doesn't need to be on. And uh, yeah. I'll throw them on the end here, if the replay thing worked. Uh, ready for engine start, take off, landed at seven and nine. Look at my vertical speed, it was only 55 feet. Amazing with that crazy landing. And then I, I did all this replay stuff, so it's gonna be all crazy. But uh, let's see, I, I have 209 experience points on this particular uh, I didn't see the spot where it said, oh, here it is, 5,100, airport fees are $100. Okay, so there we go. I'll probably patch this part in. <laughs> this is probably patched in uh, because I did all the replays in between, so... There we go. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace! Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch.
Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Okay, let's see.